What up, big kid? Sean Long here, and man, the lighting is always so tricky in this room. Oh man, guys, I didn't even know if I was gonna do this unboxing. I mean, I want to. It's not like I don't want to. Those are like the things I've been doing on YouTube for like the last twelve years. It's like I want to stop doing, but because of YouTube's changes, they're running with with Kappa. And and because of uh, yeah, a sec. Let's see. This be better if I do line wise. It seems so dark. Or is this too? Oh, okay, that works. Yeah, maybe like because I angled it a little bit better. Yeah, it looks really good. I like it. Yeah, it makes uh, the background a little bit dark, but it's cool. Don't mind the stuff. I'm still organizing a lot of the Hot Toys accessories and baggies right there, and I still got a. Uh, all those boxes that are right here on this, but it won't matter. Uh, I'm like scared to even have that stuff in the background. Oh, now I'm like too bright. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I mean, how face looks like George Lorenzo. Thanks. Um, hey, Jeremy. Um, so before we get into toy stuff, because we won't be able to talk about toys on YouTube anymore come January or even sooner, I'm, I'm even risking it doing this video. In fact, a lot of my friends like Charmus Prime and Daredevil 19 and a um, lot, lot, lot of uh, people who I love watching on YouTube, their toy stuff, um, been posting toy stuff still. But if you watch this great video from James Briggs and Charmus made a video about it and he was very, very wise and re did a lot of research. But I watched a lot of a lot of videos about the COPA situation and it changes. So one thing I learned and I, I talked to a friend about this, um, man, who did I talk to? Like we just talked like the other day and he actually talked to you too, my, my friend David Charles. And um, yeah, he pretty much asked and okay. So one thing I was thinking about doing because everyone's going all the Patreon thing and, and, and that's the thing. Uh, Patreon is a way to do toy content um, to people that are old oh, there's Cheetar, to teenagers or at least like people who are like not kids, you know, adults, teenagers, whatever. Because this is the whole COPA thing is to protect children, which I understand well, why YouTube is doing this. I understand why well, COPA has good intentions. So there's no real bad guy here, but the content create the way they're going about things is pretty much um, hurting content creators, especially when they're not doing anything that is, you know, we're not posting content that is hurting children. We're not posting um, anything that's like inappropriate at all, but that's the sad thing, you know? Oh my God, Terry. Yeah, I'm going to hide that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, man, even when posting this live, unboxing we're gonna do and by the way thank you big bad toys for being a long time sponsor please uh, if you want to at least support toys in general and go to my big bad toy store uh sponsorship link because i don't know how long they'll be sending me stuff with the way that things are going on youtube that's like yeah it's gonna suck so much because i really count on big bad toy store just to get any sort of toy content at all and also I got some other cool stuff that I didn't get from Big Bad Toy Store, but I found like a target like Cara Dune from The Mandalorian, which Mandalorian episode three, the sin was amazing. And then I got the Danny Moonstone who I got from a, 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 a friend slash local dealer at the last toy show I did at Toy Fusion. I got it for the Wolf Bane because I got some other stuff from Big Bad Toy Store. So I'll, I'll unbox these here. We'll get to toy stuff in a moment especially because I got some really cool stuff. Um, is there an app for Big Bad Toys? No, but they should totally, uh, you know. Uh, so, so anyway, going to the Copa thing before I start the toy stuff. Let me get some water real quick. And it's not just toy stuff. You can't really come in because of the Copa. Even if you made videos about Spider-Man, whether it's in the comics or movies, if you made uh, reviews on Dragon Ball or My Hero Academia stuff that like an even though anime has been shown to me be made for 
older kids uh, slash adults, especially for adults, so many anime that's made for adults. Then the way that Copa, and I'll, I'll probably make a, a separate video about this uh, with more details, but um, yeah, because the way that they have the content, whether it's toys, anything, whether it's hot toys or adult collectibles, horror toys, it, whether it's a figure on Spider-Man, uh, Care Bears, or Freddy Cougar and Jason Voorhees, it doesn't matter. If it's a, a collectible, a toy, that is, you pretty much, it's FTC said it's, it's targeted for kids, even though I have no idea why uh, action figures made on, you know, from Terminator 2 or Halloween or uh, It Chapter 2 would, you know, anyway, that makes no sense. Um, but I talked to my friend David Charles and he said that pretty much that one thing I was considered doing is that, and I still will need your guys' help. I'll, I'll talk about this in a moment. If I'll, I can make toy reviews or anybody making toy reviews and just not put ads on the videos, because it's all about the ads collecting data, whatnot. Um, you know, the con so YouTube collecting data from people, especially if kids are watching, and that's a big no-no. That's what COPA is preventing. That's why YouTube got fined. But if I didn't put ads on my videos, um, I could still upload the same content I'm doing. I won't get paid for it. But then if I ask for, like, oh, go to my Patreon to keep supporting the channel, that will, you know, that will help me whatever you guys can do, like just a dollar a month. However, uh, basically... This is what it said, and this is why all of us, whether it's me, Shardimus, and Shardimus made the point that, yeah, sure, you, YouTube won't go after maybe people like him or me or a lot of the toy people at first, but it doesn't mean they can't go after us, and and that's the scary part, right? You 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 can't, like, it, it's like saying back in the Napster days that, oh, yeah, like, you're, you live in Detroit, Michigan, and you're down legally downloading Metallica songs. They won't find me compared to if I was like, you know, worked for a major thing. They'll they'll still find you. The government will still find you. So David said a thing about like um, now putting ads and stuff. Um, it says, okay, hold on a sec. Yeah, so as a creator, you'll be required to tell your content is made for kids. You need to consider a sick, applicable legal obligations when evaluating when your content is made for kids, including the age of a child is defined by your country. Consult legal consult, consult if you have additional questions. If you don't specify your content is for kids, note that you'll use machine learning to identify. So ultimately, to know your audience best. Oh, yeah, so here's the thing. If this is the content emphasis is on children or children's characters, which is very vague because Spider-Man is a character for all ages, popular children's programming or animated characters, animated a big thing, thing there, play acting or ch stories using children's toys, that's also very vague, children, child pro protagonists engaging in common natural play patterns or play acting imaginatively, popular children's song stories or poems. So, yeah, so, yeah, so... Let's see here. So it's just basically, um, yeah, so yeah, just basically they haven't pretty much made it um, where you can like, even if I don't put ads on my videos, I still have to put it as man for kids. And then comments will be turned off, uh, won't get ads on there anyway. But the fact you can't even post comments and yeah, it's so it's basically your you have two choices come January. Don't do anything that's very kid friendly, like toys, talking about anime or animation. Uh especially around doing stuff around characters like Spider-Man, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, very kid-friendly characters, or 
if you do post that stuff, it's just going to, you can't, people won't be able to comment on it. You won't be able to um, um, get ads on it. So it's like, why even bother? And if it's not searchable, like, does that mean like it's on kid? It's, it's stuff that YouTube hasn't really fully explained, but it's, it's just not worth it. So basically what I'm thinking about doing, you guys come, if I'm going to, I'm either I'm doing one or two options and and basically I'm gonna ask you guys, I'll make a separate video about it. If you still want me to do toy content, it's gonna be Patreon exclusive because even posting on Facebook and all that stuff could be very um it's just the same thing, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram even. Uh well I don't know about Instagram, but definitely if I post anything where if I was gonna put ads on my videos, even on these other sites. The F FTC could go after those sites just as much as YouTube. It's just that YouTube's the big dog, so they're going to go um, after YouTube first before they go after these other, um, you know, like websites like Vizmeo or uh, Daily Motion or whatever, because a lot of that stuff is stuff that's not made for kids on those platforms anyway. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, so I either I'm going to change the format and just talk about stuff that's not kid friendly like talk about mental health uh talk about other things talk about just really reformat my channel to something that's not remotely uh kid stuff at all or if i do any of the toy stuff or whatever i have to be patreon uh exclusive and that's only that's basically if you want to watch any toy stuff it's going to be all on patreon and and i know it's not you know, here's the thing. If you have Netflix, Disney Plus, uh, Hulu, um, and uh, Amazon Prime, all those cost anywhere from eight to ten or fifteen bucks a month. So, if you can for and if you just watch your favorite YouTubers and just give a dollar a month, even like five YouTubers, that still helps out a lot. Because and yeah, I mean, so it's really up to you guys. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. It's like even doing this live unboxing is going to be a big no, no. I'm even risking doing this right now. Um, even when I was posting like going live, is this, uh, made for kids and technically it's toys made for kids. So yeah, pretty much come January, I'm going to either have to mark all my stuff for kids or delete it or privatize it. No one will see it one way or the other so it's very sad so let's enjoy this ride while we can before we go patreon exclusive or i just you don't see any more toy stuff because it's basically up to you guys i only have three people supporting me on patreon if you want to support my channel go to my patreon at patreon.com forward slash sean x long if you don't care about my uh toy stuff anymore and don't want to see any more kid-friendly content from me then it's okay. I'll just change uh, my channel and stuff like that. But yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. But if you want me to do anything toy related, it's going to have to be through Patreon, especially come January and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. That just That's just the way COPA, unless things, they, they change the whole COPA thing right now. It's just, that's the way that things are going to go. There you go. Click on the link if you want to support. If, I'm hoping if I can get a good amount of people support me on Patreon, just to even make weekly videos and stuff like that, I'll do that. And then, man, if I got um, enough people on Patreon, I would do daily videos again. But, you know, you guys would have to, I would have to make just a, a man, it, the dream is to get like 1% of the subscribers, man, 1% would be amazing but even half of one percent would be amazing you know it if you had like 20 okay let's see i like 2480 80, subscribers and then if i divide that by point um five percent no, no. Okay, good. Do that again. So 2,480,000 subscribers. No, wait. 200,000, 
48,000 subscribers. There we go. <laughs> I am like so bad at this right now. So, so I times that by point. Um, wait, is that right? Okay. Oh, no, that's not right. Okay, hold on. I have to, I do the wrong thing. So, times point zero zero. What's one? Oh man, I don't even know. Like, let's see. No, well, no, I'll do this later. Anyway, I can't think right now. Anyway, let's get into toy stuff while we can because this is going to go away soon here, real quick. So, which, so before I get into the big bad toy store, I'll show off and do some like little things, do some actual unboxing. So, uh, they're in the Mandalorian, the third, or t okay, technically, this is the fourth Mandalorian figure because. Oh yeah, and I have um, yeah. Before I get into um, let's see. So, in if you watch today's episode, they can basically this is like Mandalorian episode one figure. They can totally do it now in episode three figure because this armor is different from what we got. It's a minor spoiler, but we we know he has more than one look and everything. So this is like Mandalorian one armor. Or episode one, two armor. So we're probably going to get an, another Mandalorian armor. And then I got the Best Buy exclusive IG-11 figure, which is basically like IG-88 with just two bandoliers. And yeah, very nice figure. You know, head can rotate, arms rotate to go in and out that way. The, uh, they bend. Oop. Bend out the elbow uh, and rotate out the elbow. They don't rotate at the wrist. He comes with uh, like the standard blaster, and then he comes with a more of a long range rifle. Well, both like IG88. His bandolier has a bunch of uh, bombs on it. Very nice paint apps. Oh yeah, and then uh, he does have upper waist diaphragm joint. Goes forward and back. Legs can go forward that much. Goes back only a little bit. Can't go in and out sadly. He does ban, uh, oh man, it's very, it's very scary the way they bend. So oh yeah, rotates at the upper part of the leg. Uh, he's supposed to, it looks like he bends also, um, I mean, especially for these type of characters, I wish that they would tell you more. So I know he bends like this part of the knee and then his ankles bend forward back and it rotates. No ankle pivot, but yeah, I always worry because especially this plastic and he sets a, Oh, Lincoln! I just killed the Mandalorian, you guys. Oh, and I just... Wow. And I just knocked over my Brody. Oh, my God. And it had to hit. Yeah, hold on, guys. Of course, like, when things fall... Even though, it, like, you have carpet, it has to hit, like, the most, like, metal thing, which is, like, my my light. Oh, man, all this light there. <laughs> yeah, so let's hope. Okay, Broly seems to be good. Okay, Mando seems to be good. He fell on carpet. Okay. So, and then what happened? I just lost IG um, 11's blaster. Man. What is, do you think they're going to introduce the dark saber? That'd be awesome. Hey, Tom. Man, I know I'm surprised they haven't made any Joker like a billion dollar movie with no merchandise. That makes no sense. That was I know they're trying. Oh, it's right here. They're trying to take it more seriously. But if they have action figures for the, well, that's a comedy. But if, you know, they make figures for so many movies and. TV shows that shouldn't have action figures or just like pops and stuff like that. So the Joker should definitely have um, um, like action figures. Okay, so I'm going to put Mando and IG-11. Uh, fix his foot. Yeah, you pretty much have to have them stand up straight. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, so we got... Because the, the off-world Java was part of the Mandalorian, so this is Kara Dune, 
played by um um oh my god what's her name um Gina I know she she was in Deadpool um yeah I'm trying oh my god what's her name Kara Jen Gina oh my god It was, was the guys, someone have the name? Um, okay, I'll IMDB it since no one's like helping me out here. Um, yeah, what's her name? I, man, I, you, if I was to say that on the back of the box, it just gives her a character name. Mandalorian. God, the show's so freaking good. Oh, Gina Carano. There we go. That's why I was like, well, yeah, Gina. Jean, yeah, Gabe Tracks. That's not right. It was Car Carano, not Karina. But you, you were close. Um, yeah, so Gina Carano uh, plays Cara Dune, a veteran of the Galactic Civil War who fought for the rebellion. Cara Dune is the seasoned warrior who has put her days of military discipline behind her and now has reserved her as the mercenary. So very nice, very nice picture of her. Warning, ha, small parts not for children under three years, four plus. The sad thing is, this is the type of stuff, since it's not over 13, um, this technically is a kid's toy. It's hard to think of, but yeah, Star Wars Black Series are kid's toys. Four up is kids, four and over. So it's pretty much kids, because toddlers are under four. And so it's kids, but it is hazardous for kid, um, pretty much toddlers. So yeah, this is figure 101, the red right there, says Kara Tune. Yeah, so let's open her up. Yeah. Do the last unboxings before YouTube won't let me do these anymore. So yeah, she comes with quite a little things right here. Very nice. So now people can get her uh you know, what was her character in Deadpool? Oh my god, I'm having a brain fart. Angel Dust, yeah, that's right. So yeah, so you can make your own Angel Dust. Oh, I know, man. It's been a long time. I haven't been in New York in a while. I haven't been in New York since, like, 2015. So, this head sculpt looks great. They used a new face printing technology. So, yeah, here. There we go. Maybe the light is a little too much. And it's a, but you can see it's very nice. I really love her armor. She has that tattoo right there. Really cool armor. Love the belt, the holster. She has little silver pieces on there. Nice boots. Really nice paint apps on here. Different beiges and this kind of like teal, green, blue. She has a cool hairstyle. Kind of like braided side cut thing going on. Very awesome. And she definitely scales. She is shorter than Mando, but she's, you know, pretty muscular, you know, because she was an MMA warrior. Yeah, she's very awesome. So let's take a look at articulation. Head can rotate. Look up a little bit, uh, down a little bit. Arms, the shoulder uh, pads do hinder her articulation a little bit, so she can only go forward and back that much. Can't really rotate unless you really go at the side. Can go in and out that much. She bends at the elbow a little over 90 degrees, which is nice. And she rotates at the elbow, rotates at the wrist, go in and out. Has an upper diaphragm joint that goes forward and back and rotates. Very nice. Uh, the belt holster pieces, like separate piece, release and go forward. Not really back. She goes in and out that much. 
rotate out of her part leg. She does spin at two points at the knee. She kind of has like a um, knee pad on that one, but not on the other one. And then her ankles can pivot forward and back, and she has a nice ankle pivot. So very nice articulation, especially for a female figure. It's probably the second last unboxing because if I get my my last Big Bad Toy Store December stuff in time before January, I'll probably do one last unboxing. And that'll be it. Yep, so. And this is like kind of like me doing last bit of reviews for you guys too. So let's look at... Uh, Man, she comes with a couple of different weapons. And they all have, she has weapons storage for all of them. And let's open, we got a few things to open up. And I'm gonna start work here tonight. Do some Ubering. Sadly, Uber makes me money to pay my bills and my rent, unlike um, um, YouTube and I've been being able to pay bills on YouTube for a long time. So she comes with a knife, really nice paint apps. And you can actually place the knife in her boot, I believe. Yeah, she, yeah, I believe she can place it in her boot. Yeah, she has a little place for her boot right there. Very nice. She comes with this little blaster uh, pistol with a little scope. Kind of looks like a G1 Megatron. <laughs> Walter P38, I believe, but that's what they're called. And you can actually... Um, it goes in her little holster. Oh, nice. It fits really good. And it has a little... There you go. Very nice. And then last but not least, she gets this like almost like machine gun rifle that has like a, a strap. Very nice. And she yeah, it has a strap right here. So let me. See how this works. I'll put this in their hands. It's always a little tricky with these guns, especially uh, depending on how the gun is. It, um, it can be a little tricky. Uh, here we go. Trying to do double hand. Yeah. Oop. It can be a little, little tricky, especially not having double joint elbows. And then put the strap. Where does it holds? I guess like over here. Put the strap over here. And then do this. I think this is how it works. And we'll get on to the next figure, which is another female figure. And then here you go. You got Cara Dune. Wish I had my measuring tape, but um, here's the Mandalorian. And you can see side by side, um, he's a little bit taller, probably like half an inch taller than her. Because she's still pretty tall, even for a female figure. Like, well, actually, no. Well, maybe unless you count Marvel Legends figures, because here's like the Jean Grey. Oh, I should put the feet for Mando. Like here's the Marvel Legend Jean Grey and the Jean Grey is like taller than her. But Star Wars Black Series are their own scale. They're meant to be real char real characters but you know they're played by actual people whereas the comic characters are you know comic cartoons whatever. Definitely stuff you can't put on YouTube. <laughs> okay so there we go. So I got three Mandalorian figures. Where's the Baby Yoda figures? I want the Baby Yoda figures. 
it's so sad. We won't be able to see any video unless it comes. They said they were coming out with some Baby Yoda merch by the end of the year. Um, but if it doesn't come out soon, you won't see it on YouTube because it's made for kids, even though adults my age want it to. So here we got the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive. Danny Moonstar, which is also Wolfbane and... Um, God, who is the other one? Oh, my God. Um, there was three characters. It's Wolfbane, Danny, Moonstar, and if someone can name the third character, but you have the three heads right here. I got to make Wolfbane. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I got my hot toy. That's like my Avengers uh, symbol display. So very nice. It uses Danny Moonstar on the back right here. Oh, bio, it says, part of the group of young mutants, the Danny Minsar's ability conjure illusions based on their enemy's deepest fears. Ooh. Very nice. You know, Danny Minsar is unlike the character I wanted most out of this. I wanted Wolfane because best thing to make my X Factor, especially because I got some other figures here, which I'll show you in a moment. So, yeah, let's get into this one so if anyone knows like the third character that'd be awesome this one comes with quite a bit of accessories oh my god it's pretty much three figures or you can make three figures but people will buy three of these that have all three characters to make your new mutants or x factor or whatever x-men Are you able? How are you able? I don't know. You just get detox and shelves and organize them the best you can. Make time to organize. Wow, very nice. The body. Uh, yeah, so we got Danny Moonstar. Very nice head sculpt. This is the first of three head sculpts. Look at that hair. Oh my gosh, very cool. Almost looks like tentacles uh, coming out with little hair ponytails. And the body is just like black female uh, body with yellow X-Men logo or New Mutants logo. Yellow boots and whatnot. Yeah, so pretty nice. Nice sculpting with whatnot. Before we get into the other uh, figures, or other accessories. So let's articulation. A head can fully rotate, goes up and down a little bit. It's on a ball joint. Arms fully rotate, go in and out. Bend. Oop, careful, make sure to do this bend. Don't want to break this. That'd be really bad. Oh my gosh, wow, that bend. Yeah, that elbow is being a little, oh man, very scary. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's like you always want to make sure. So bends 90 degrees at the elbow. Dang, why is that? It feels like the pain like dried a little too much. I'm trying to bend it because you don't want to break that plastic. Yeah. There we go. Oh boy. It's always so scary. Always be careful when bending these figures, you know. The quality control is pretty good for the most part. Rotates the elbow, rotates the wrist, goes in and out. Has an upper diaphragm joint. Rotates, goes forward and back. Legs go forward really good. Goes back just a little bit. Goes in and out. Not that great. They really should. That's only, I love the new hips, but I just wish they made it where they can go in and out a little bit more, you know. And then rotate the upper part leg especially for Spider-Man, goes in and out, or two points of knee articulation. Um, no boot cut, but the ankles pivot forward just a little bit. Back really good. Has a nice ankle pivot. So, yeah. Pretty uh, standard female articulation. No double joint elbows, but not bad. It does get tricky because if you're doing Danny Moonstar, her accessories, like each character comes with, well, the accessory, if, if you're counting 
if you're buying this to Danny Moonstar and with the extra accessories, then it comes with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight accessories. Uh, so Danny Moonstars is this really nice bow. Uh, very nice bow. No string though. You know, can't put strings in kids' toys because this is a kid's toy. It even says for ages four and up, so Marvel Legends are kids' toys. Um, even though we don't want to believe it. Uh, the arrow has some red on there, very nice, and has a black arrowhead tip. She doesn't have a quiver or anything, so that's the only bad thing. I, yeah, so if you want to display her with the um, bow and arrow, she has, she can hold it. Oop. And with these hands. Oh, it's like, yeah. It's funny because got the Kimberly figure from Power Rangers. Man, it sucks. I can even get a full year of Hasbro doing Power Ranger toys before YouTube me and Copa me to where I can't do it anymore. And her hand holding the arrow, that's a little tricky because it's not like an arrow holding hand. So I don't know what really the way you do it. I guess you kind of, I don't know, kind of put it like that. There you go. So you can kind of do that. You know, you're the best you can for the articulation, and yeah, you can kind of do it. But yeah, I didn't get it for so. I'm gonna take out her hands, and for the Danny Moonstar. Do you remember what character the third character that's being? I always forget. Like, it looks familiar, but I can't. Think of it so take off the Danny Moonstar. Um Yeah, hold on, what is it? And we had a good year in Marvel Legends too before all this happened. X-Men Wolverine. Oh, X-Men. Anyone know like the name of it? Oh my god, yes, I talked about this. I know about Common Rider. Uh I never I saw clips of the show. I haven't really watched the show. I know it's great, but it's just one of those things that um it's just not my thing. Even when I watch Super Sentai, yeah, I know it's the same people that do Super Sentai. Uh man, I've talked about this for so many years, especially since I've done Power Ranger V. Review so Kamen Rider is cool, respected, but I now, especially with the way YouTube is going, it's not even it's very pointless to collect things that I don't fully love and stuff like that. I'm just wasting money I could be using for to get health insurance and you know other things. Like, I, I'm gonna hopefully by next month, I'll finally have health insurance. So, did anyone know the, the, the character, the third? when this does, or else I'll look it up real quick. And I, yeah, I got really... Let's see. Because yeah. I want to do that third one next, and then... Then I can finally open up my big bad toy store box. Uh. Oh, <laughs> hey, one new. Um, oh, thank you. I appreciate the kind words. It's really dark days are ahead for toy reviewers. So here, I'm going to check real quick. I have to research it since no one knows. Marvel Legends, Danny Moonstar. 
Okay, yeah, that one. Um, I know it's Wolfbane, and the third one was... I'm looking it up right now. Karma, thank you. Oh my gosh, finally. So it's Karma. So the head sculpt... Um, so this is the Karma head sculpt. Very nice. She has these pink eyes, and she has this, like, purple or purplish pink lips and a yellow headband. So I'm going to turn... So she's part of the New Mutants. I think she was supposed to be in that New Mutants movie before Fox and then now Disney shelved it. We'll, we'll be lucky if we ever get that movie. That movie should have came out like two years ago. It's so crazy. And then I'm putting it on the hands right now. So if you, you, you can literally get three of these figures and make each one if you're wanting every new mutant character or whatever. So now you can make, um, she has these Jean Grey kind of hands and then that's Karma right there. So very nice. You know, she has the shortest, well no, Wolfbane has the shortest hair, so yeah. But I got this for Wolfbane, so let's take the Wolfbane hands. Now of course if this wanted to be 90s Wolfbane, which I hope they do down the line, we would need it look more like the Polaris body and stuff. So comes with the Wolfbane hands, which are very different. It's not like the yellow glove hands like Karma and Danny Moonstar. But the Wolfbane head is very nice. I really love that head sculpt. It has the green eyes and fangs. Very Wolverine hairstyle, but that's just the character. Ugh, so why is she <laughs> the, the hardest... No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, so now. Here, let me make sure. Yeah. And then there's Wolfbane. And that's what I got it for. Now I have a Wolfbane figure. Hopefully. You'll... And the good thing is, if they do do a 90s Wolfbane figure, um, I can make this into Danny Moonstar Karma. So that's awesome. Yay. So there we go. Wolfbane. All the figures. Now let's get into Big Red Toy Store. So remember, kids, I can't, it feels weird. I can't even say that without feel like I'm going to get in trouble. Okay, all the people you want to support the channel, go to my Big Bad Toy Store uh, link. So Big Bad Toy Store will send me some stuff that I can hopefully make content at least for the next month. Oh, I've gotten way skinny. Oh, thanks. I felt like I, lost, I gained some weight, but thanks. I'm trying to lose weight right now. So uh, my link is in the description. Go to BigBadToyStore.com. You know, I got some couple awesome things I'm about to unbox for you guys. So let's take a look. I'm going to fully unbox them for you. And just a minor spoiler, they're both Marvel. So it's going to be marvelous. Open this up. Oh yeah. So let's take a look. So the first one goes into the figure that goes with you can put this with the figure I just um unboxed, and that is the Marvel Legends Havoc and Polaris 2 pack. Now I missed out on the um what's it uh the other Polaris that came out, trying to think, Warpath? No, not Warpath. What was it? What wave was that? Um, hold on. Oh, and then that finally, a oh, Warlock. Yeah, Warlock. Oh, and you can actually get that full wave uh, still at Big Bad Toy Story. I still need to get the Scatter Star and Sunfire. Um, uh, figures from that wave. Now, Polaris is cool, but I really love the 90s Polaris look. Even though that... Oh, and then the Dazzler, too. And I got the... um, um Really, Chitara? She's going in the box, and I have, I still have something in there. But yeah, total 90s 
uh, look, and they look awesome. I love the 90s look of Havoc. I love the 90s look of Polaris. They're, the 90s look of, of all the X-Men are my favorites, hands down. So very nice. Um, it says, War, you know, the Marvel 80th Years logo, Hasbro. It just four and up. That's why this will be banned on YouTube here shortly. You got like the 90s uh, X-Men cards uh, art right here on the sides. And on the back, it says, the artwork on this package is inspired by the iconic training cards from the early 90s. X-Men, Marvelous Havoc, Alex Summers is an alpha-level mutant with the power to absorb cosmic energy and convert it to plasma. Uh, he's six foot tall, 175 pounds. He's X-Factor, Uncanny X-Men, number 54, 1969 was his first appearance. Marvel Splorers, Lorna Dane, 5'7", 115 pounds. X-Factor, Uncanny X-Men, 49, 1969 was her first appearance. Like her father, Magneto, Lorna Dane has the ability to control magnetism. Very awesome art in the back there. These boxes are so cool, just like the... Uh, Oh, I have it up there, but just like the the Jean Grey, Wolverine, and Cyclops three pack. So let's open this up. I'm really happy that Hasbro this year pretty much gave us pretty much most of our 90s X-Men. Just like all of them, pretty much from Gambit to Nightcrawler, uh that just all the the packs right here were just all perfect for um for like to build your 90s x-men yeah like, oh jubilee beast all the 90s x-men like forge so to make your x-factor so yeah just like wolfbane i got multiple man and i got forge and um and I got Quicksilver. Oh, yeah. And then, then Magneto, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch. So, yeah, it was all 90s X-Men, man. It's been such a great year. So, yeah, let's start with Havoc. And these have been used so much between Scarlet Witch and Magneto. And you, you can pretty much collect these theme effects in every color. So we got Havoc's yellow ones. He also, the other Havoc figure that came out in the Juggernaut wave was, like, blue. And then, um, Polaris gets the, uh, green ones. So they're the exact same. They're cool. Dr. Strange is them. Scarlet Witch. It's a cool, like, little effect. So let's look at how the, I mean, I always like how he spelled it just like, like in Davy Havoc from AFI. Yeah, so this is pretty much so awesome, especially having this brother Cyclops. And he actually has double jointed elbows, unlike the Cyclops that comes in, like, like here, I'll just show it real quick. So we got the brothers right here, Scott and Alex, Alex Summers. Very nice. Both love their jackets, especially in the 90s. That was the thing in the 90s. Um, just like Cyclops, Gene, Gambit, Polar, um, it was all about these face masks. Still show that wonderful hair, but you you put a mask that covers, but not your ears. They would let your ears out. It would it would just shape your mask. It was such a weird thing, but it looked cool, right? What is with that? It just it's like you're not hiding your face, you're not covering your hair. But yeah, it's it's just something about the nineties. What was up with that look? Gambit had it. Um, Havoc, um, Jean Grey. It's so weird, right? But yeah, but yeah, something about that. Oh yeah, the Seeds Astro Train. I want to get that. Yeah, I know. So yeah, so very nice. Look at that hair. Such cool hair. I'm actually growing my hair. I want my hair is going to be like that soon. Actually, it's almost that length. Love the paint on the jacket. Look at that zipper. He's wearing X-Factor logo. X-Men, X-Factor. X-Factor is more gender neutral because, you know, it could be men and women. You know, X-Men was always men and women. Yeah, really love the paint apps on there. Just like his brother Cyclops, he has these yellow straps that go all over the place. But very nice. 
Now his head can look down, can look up really good, rotate, except the jacket, which is a rubbery material, does hinder it a little bit. His arms can fully rotate, go in and out, rotate at the bi uh, bicep. He does have double jointed elbows, but it doesn't really go go slightly past 90 degrees, so it's not that much different from the Cyclops jacket arms. Rotates at the wrist, goes in and out at the wrist, rotates at the waist. He does have a out crunch forward and back, but the jacket hinders a little bit. Legs can go forward, back a little bit, go in and out that much. Rotate the upper part of the leg. Uh, he does have a, a, oh yeah, double jointed knees. And then boot cut right there, it rotates, and his ankles can or pivot forward and back, and he has a nice ankle pivot side to side. So really good articulation. You just like his brother, you gonna have to be careful with all these the straps and stuff they're just gonna go all over the place my god yeah so just be careful with that these strap things are gonna go all over the place they just love to move around oh my god and then putting him with his little yeah he no no he has yellow sorry it's like yeah match match the color so you can Put this on, uh, swoop it under here. You don't even have to like take out the hands. You can have like his little plasma effects. Q. And then with his lady love, so funny that Cyclops' is younger brother and Scarlet Witch's younger sister or Magneto's daughter were dating each other. Oh, got to keep it in the family. Magneto had way too many kids. <laughs> so let's open up Lorna, who was, who was played awesomely uh, by Emma Durant and um, in The Gifted. So we've seen her. So beautiful. Love that head sculpt. Love that hair, even though it does hinder the articulation. It's like nice shading. Bunch of uh, two different greens in that hair. It looks kind of like, I don't know, it's like like very Poison Ivy vibes, right? But I love it. I can see people using this head sculpt for a Poison Ivy. So, yeah, people are saying, hold on, I'm just going to take this off real quick. Whoa, that's a weird head sculpt, I mean, ball joint right here. So let's see if I can do this. Some people say you can do this if you got two Polaris things, and let's see if this works. This joint is a little bit, um... oh, there you go. So now you have a little bit more of an X Factor wolf bane, but her legs would need to be showing her hairiness. But yeah, if you if you get this body with the wolf bane head sculpt, you can make it more 90s wolf bane. So there you go. So if you had the other Polaris and you prefer Polaris in her green cape and crown, and there you go. But yeah, I really love the outfit. She has a very nice feminine body, like that belt, her hands. She actually comes with two pairs of hands with her, and she comes with those low straps on her boots. So very nice. And then, um, yeah, I listen to some metal, but mostly like pop punk and uh pop like Halsey. Halsey's my favorite. I love her so much. And then we're gonna get to the final thing. I need a box here in a second after show off her hands. So, oops, excuse me. Put this back in here. I'm least happy I got to unbox these with you guys. Last uh, unboxings it can do a long time. So she comes with a pair of fists too. Cool. Put Wolfbane head back on. There we go. Yeah, if Wolfbane's alpha was blue instead of black, it totally could work even for 
a semi nineties look. But if you don't, if you care about just having the characters, not their all their looks together, then it's okay. But yeah, they do need to do a nineties Wolfbane showing her more. Yeah, hopefully we do get that down the line. Okay, so for Polaris's uh, articulation, her head can look left and right, but their hair gets in the way. Looks down really good, even though her hair looks so weird when you do that. Um, yeah, her ball joint is like a little bit weird. It's kind of at an angle because of uh, the way her hair is. It kind of has to be like at an angle. I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you put the ball joint in there, it's like, yeah. It just kind of has to. And then her arms fully rotate. I go in and out. Bends um, slightly over 90 degrees at the elbow. Uh, rotates at the elbow, rotates at the wrist, goes in and out. Has the upper diaphragm joint that rotates, goes forward and back. Legs can go forward and back, go in and out. That's Ch Chitara. Oh yeah, Chitara's in the box right there. Oh, you can see her in the corner. Hi, Chitara. Woo. She likes being in boxes. Um, yeah, so rotate the upper part of the leg, then at two points at the knee, and it goes can pivot forward and back, and wait, does she have a boot cut? No, she doesn't. And she has a nice, nice ugh, ankle pivot. I, yeah, her ankle pivot's like a little bit hard for some reason. That's what Havoc said. Yeah, but it's there. It's just like a little bit weird. And because of the way her hair, oh yeah, and then let me put um, her um, her little effects on. I just move this around and there you go. And you got Polaris using her magnetism that's green for some reason, but whatever. It's comics. It could be whatever color for FX. Oop. Just gonna stand and put a little cool figure, simple wolf bane in the middle, and then there we go. Yay! All right, now let's get to the final thing the last for pulling that lace and chitara. Figure I've been really excited for. Um, it's a Hot Toys figure. Thanks to Big Bad Toy Store for. Um, Making it so I can get these figures. I'm really excited for this. I did have to pay a little bit out of the pocket because I only get like a certain amount of. Oh no! My Wolfbane figure fell. So, what could this be? I give you a hint. This figure is one of my favorite new Disney princesses. Because technically, she is a Disney princess if you think about it. Just like how Princess Leia is a Disney princess now. So yes, what could it be? Well, what are those? It is the Hot Toy or the Black Panther Hot Toys Shuri Movie Masterpiece One Six Sale Collectible Figure. Yay, Shuri! So excited! I can put her on my Avengers Assemble um little display right there. Really excited because she was part of the Avengers. I hope they make a Hot Toys to play. The uh, Eric Hillmonger figure just came out too, so. Ugh. Oh boy, that's hate, man. So let's show off this beautiful packaging. I love this. I still want to get the Black Panther, Hot Toys Black Panther. Because I have the Civil War one, which I do prefer that one, but the Hot Toys Black Panther one comes with um, more accessories and the Chadwick Boseman uh, 
to to Chala head sculpt. So yeah, so I'm glove Sherry. So let's open her up. I I consider her official Disney princess. She's not like for the live action princesses. I mean, because now there be they have all these live action Disney princesses now, like with Aladdin and you know Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella and Maleficent. So we got Cass and Cass and Cruda made this beautiful figure, Howard Chan. Shout out to him. So here's the figure. What you get when you see the plastic tray. Oh yeah, and here's warning you won't choke on the sherry because what are those that you're choking on? <laughs> I just love that. I love that line so much. So. This is definitely not for kids, but yeah, it doesn't matter. This is a toy in the eyes of YouTube. So open the plastic tray. Mm, I love that new hot toy smell. It smells amazing. So yeah, let's get the uh, let's get the get the instruction manual. Show that first, real quick. I haven't been to Indonesia. There's so many places I want to go, and I'm sorry, Indonesia is not the top of my list. I, I want to visit like Japan, China. Uh, uh, France, Italy, uh, so many, Europe, uh, yeah, I mean, England, so yeah. So very detailed instructions on how to put the batteries in, which I don't know if I'll have time to put the batteries in. I don't even know where my, um, I don't know if, uh, where I even put the uh, my little um, screwdrivers and stuff. Yeah, I gotta find out where I put it. So probably won't have time unless I can find like a little yeah, it's all good. But I'll put the gauntlets on and stuff. So yeah, uh very detailed instruction manual. Oh, and I gotta put on her like little um armbands and everything too. So yeah, we'll get to that. So let's take out the figure first. And then we'll put on so of course we gotta remove the head plastic and she has the neck thing because of her little guard. I'm so excited. By the way, I was the, sadly this isn't on the Big Bad Toy Store website anymore. When I got this, it, it sold out as soon as I got it. So I think I got the last one. In fact, I meant to get this sooner, but then I checked, I was trying to get in, then it sold out. Then I was thinking about getting something else. Then I checked again and it went from sold out to be in stock. I'm like, oh yes, and then I grabbed it, and then it sold out. So probably someone was about to get it, but they changed their mind. And then, yeah, I was lucky. I grabbed this as soon as I did because I've been wanting this figure since it was announced. I love her look. She's so beautiful. This head sculpt's amazing. I'll show you guys. I'm glad she's not covered in all this protective plastic, and her outfit is so nice. So look at that head sculpt right there. Wow. Looks just like the Tisha right? So beautiful. Look at that hair. The hair is so awesome. Look at that design. So cool. Like her braid. Her outfit. Look at that detail. It's just so gorgeous. And that skin tone. I, I like it because her outfit, she can, unlike the Wonder Woman, you don't have to do that stupid thing where she can like really move her arms, they can actually rotate, but I'll get into that a bit. You know, the rubberized skin, nice hands. She's got, the cloth is really nice. The leg armor, cause this is all vibranium. So she's technically wearing armor, but they just make all their clothes out of vibranium. So nice and her shoes, what are those? You know what I call them? Sneakers. <laughs> yeah. Well, rubber skin can be bad, but you just have to, you know. But yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Love the detail. Just, wow, so beautiful. So yeah, let's get into her articulation. And her head can fully rotate, can go up, actually pretty good, and can go down really good. It's on like a 
double jointed ball joints. So a little head pivot there. So be like, what are those? <laughs> and then um, her arms can fully rotate. Um, can go in and out that much. So really good range, actually. Um, because of the rubber skin that she does, she can bend at the elbow. But, you know, um, you can bend it a little more than 90 degrees. And it doesn't look too bad either. So that's good. Her, um, she doesn't really have a bicep swivel, sadly. Uh, hands can fully rotate. Uh, wrists can ro rotate and go in and out. She does have an ab crunch forward and back. And a waist showing that can rotate a little bit. Her legs can go forward pretty that much. She can kick it. Sure, you can kick it. Can go back pretty good. She can go in and out. Wow, she can almost do the splits. Really good. She uh, rotates at the upper part of the leg, bends at two points at the knee. It's like more wrinkly material. So it's like the Vision or Man of Steel slash Justice League slash Batman v Superman. And then her ankles can fully rotate, uh, pivot forward and back, and she has an ankle pivot side to side. So pretty good articulation. Man, I'm really happy with the figure. Now let's uh, show the accessories, and we also got to put on her all her stuff here. I'm going to put on the gauntlet, so I won't put her... Uh, God, what are her beads called? The uh, What's it called? Well, they just call it the bracelet. They didn't even bother, but yeah, she comes with extra extra wrist pegs in case you break them. Oh, and extra little buttons like the stuff that's like right there. So she comes with extra in case they fall off. She comes with the batteries of the gauntlet, which sadly I don't have time to look for my screwdriver and put them on. So I apologize for that. But yeah. So wait, does she um? So for the gauntlets, oh, she has hands in the gauntlets, so you don't even need like to worry about doing that. So yeah, so she comes with, I'll get to the gauntlets in a bit, but she comes with, uh, I guess, one, like, if you don't count the gauntlets, one, two, three, four, five, s seven hands. So she comes with the relaxed hands, which is showed off. She comes with a pair of fists, so fist bump. She comes with a pair of, I'm guessing this is um, for the spear, spear holding hands. And then she comes with this like trigger finger hand, but I don't know what would be, what is it for? Hmm. Because it's not like a gun, she doesn't come with a gun or anything, so yeah. So that, that's interesting, but okay, sure, why not? Oh man, I hate when the tape gets caught on the instructions. There. <laughs> and then, um, uh, she comes with her little beads. I forgot what the name of these. Like, and they have um, a little like paint wash on here. Well, they have little symbols on them. They're very hard to to look at, but you can kind of see it. I'm trying to think, you know what the name of the beads are called? The Koye beads? Or you know, I'm thinking of the Koye, so it's like, yeah. And then she comes with the armbands, so I'll take those off when I put on the gauntlets. Yeah, they're making a Hot Toys Mysterio. They announced it a couple months ago. Yeah, it, it's up on pre-order right now. I'm definitely going to get it, but I don't think I'll be able to review it for you guys, so I'm really sorry. I don't think there's a difference uh, left or right. Wow, these are so cool. So she comes with the armbands, which I'll put here in a moment. And then she comes with, oh, the her little panther gauntlets, which are really cool. And she they have hands on there. And these actually have LED light up function, but yeah, I got to install the batteries here, but they're so cool. Very nice detail. I like when she uses them in the Black Panther and Avengers Endgame movie. So cool. 
And then she comes with her vibranium spear, like that the Adora Milaje use. So very nice. So I think that's really awesome. So you can do two different looks, have her holding the spear. And then she comes, last but not least, she comes with a Black Panther stand, which has the Black Panther symbol right there. Black Panther Shuri, and has the adjustable cradle. So let me put on her gauntlets and her armbands. And before we wrap up the show, So, yeah, hold on a sec. Okay, let's uh, take out her hands. Oops, I hate when the hands take the pig with them. There we go. Yeah, because you don't want to have her wearing her beads. Uh, with the gauntlets. So put on the armbands. Oops, put them on upside down. So cool. It's so cool, the detail on there is. I like it a lot, okay. Then we put on the gauntlets. Make sure I put the right one at the right hand. Oh, so cool. Ooh. Line this up here real quick. Ooh. And it's just hard because it's a little rubbery. Ooh. And you don't want to break in. Let's take a look at this. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, cool. The armbands. Hold on. Put this on. Ooh. Fix this. Yeah, it's a little tricky to put these on, to be honest, but you know, it's like a given. When you get the different options, you know, at least they made it where the hands, you, I mean, they could have done it where, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it would have been hard to do where without damaging the hands, like get them in there. So. I see why Hot Toys did this. It's it's just, you know, the wrist pegs and stuff like that, especially with female wrist pegs, they're always so tiny. Cool, now let's put on the other one. Yeah, you just want to make sure you don't damage the the skin too, especially it's rubber. One thing. Yeah, they showed off like a Hot Toys Vulture one six scale, but it hasn't gone on pre order, so I don't know if they're gonna actually release it. Maybe the Spider Man does really well for Hot Toys, but yeah. Oh, that is so cool. So yeah, here's Shuri looking so badass. This does have LED lineup features, but yeah, look how cool that is. Gonna put that on my shelf. I just, my whole thing is just, you gotta be careful of getting this. Um, make sure, it's like one of those things when you put on the gauntlets, you wanna keep them on, cause yeah, it could be really tricky.
So cool. Oh yeah, she. I love this figure. Definitely, my one of my if, probably my favorite female figure to that. And then we got in a year of really great female figures, like the Jean Grey figure, a Storm figure, the um, Pink Ranger. Well, not head sculpt, something this hard, but yeah, I mean, yeah, we got some great. Um, and there's some other ones. Oh, Mercy, yeah, the Mercy figure is one of my favorites. Man, Hasbro. Did a really great job, but yeah. But yeah, you guys, there we go. That's the Hot Toy Shuri. Looking so badass. Oh my god, I love it. She looks amazing. I absolutely love this figure. I'm so glad I got it. Man, I know, because my last two Hot Toys figures were Spider-Man figures, so yeah. Because I'm really, when it comes to Hot Toys, I... There's a couple of Star Wars figures I'm getting. Like, I plan to get the Emperor Palpatine. I might get that through Big Bad Toy Store and everything. So, yeah. One sec. One quick thing, you guys. Oh, yeah, but yeah, so happy with this figure, you guys. Thank you to BigBadToyStore.com for sending me out this uh, amazing figures, like the two-pack, and I absolutely love it. So awesome. One sec. But yeah, you guys, uh, visit BigBadToyStore.com for the latest on Hot Toys, Marvel Legends, Transformers, and more. Um... At least you can go to their site because it is a toy website and you won't feel bad about it being for kids, you know? Yeah, so like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, um, pretty much all us toy guys, even if you put it, even if you put a disclaimer, even if you put like, uh, don't put ads on your video. If you don't mark the things that are anything toy related, or even with cartoons or uh, certain characters like Spider Man, it's pretty much just going to be look like it's made for kids. So yeah, it really sucks so much, you guys. It sucks so much. So the only way I can continue to make toy related content, uh, especially coming January, is through Patreon. So if you care about my toy reviews or wanting to see me do toy reviews ever again, uh, go to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Sean X Long. I just asking a dollar a month for just, just at least like less than 1% of my subscribers. And if I can get that, I can at least do a few reviews a week, uh, hopefully more depending on how many uh, Patreon um, patrons I get, but right now I only got three, so I can't make a living, uh, doing toy reviews every day, uh, exclusively for Patreon, uh, people for only three people a month, only getting $3. I can't pay the bills on that. I'm so sorry. I wish I could. And even if I, I can't even make videos on YouTube that are toy related without, um, worrying about getting fined forty two thousand dollars and stuff like that even if it's a hot toys because toys are in the title and even characters from black panther spider-man you know you know it's just they're gonna youtube and ftc are gonna look at it and then it's just made for kids it's just sad truth you guys there's no way around it the disclaimers saying bad words if I put my content isn't made for kids, but I do have toys in it or stuff that can be seen for kids, I could get in trouble. So I'm not going to risk that. So it's either making toy reviews exclusively for Patreon users, or I just don't do it anymore and you won't see any of my toy reviews on YouTube. And pretty much I just make different types of videos. That would suck, you guys. But I'm just going to have to really change my format and 
Um, yeah. So yeah, you guys, if you want to see me do toy reviews, the only way I can do this is through Patreon. Because come January, I'm probably going to do a few, I could do a few toy things maybe here and there, but I'm really risking it even doing it right now. And then come January, if I don't mark all my videos that have toy stuff for kids, it's pretty much going to, I'm pretty much asking to get fined by the FCC. That's the sad truth, you know. It sucks so much. It sucks so, so much. But yeah, thank you to Big Bad Toy Store for sponsoring my video uh, or like my unboxing. I really appreciate it so much. And um, I really appreciate all your guys' support throughout the the years. I'm really getting, the way things are going, this is the end of all my 20 content on YouTube. And I'm really going to miss doing content for you guys when it comes to toy stuff. But I can't. You, even like I said, if I could, they pretty much said that even if I put videos and even if I don't have the ads on them and like it just sucks, I can't. If I don't market for kids because that's toy stuff in there, so I can't. Whether I put disclaimers or you know put language bad language in there, if it just has anything toy related, it just it's asking for trouble and I can't risk that anymore. So if you want to help make it where I can do toy reviews for you guys. It'll have to be through Patreon, uh, patreon.com forward slash Sean X long. Otherwise I'm going to figure out what m type of videos I'm going to make from this point on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I, if Hot Toys does make any Terminator figures, I hope it's from Terminator 1. Like, I'd love to see a Kyle Reese figure and a John Connor figure. Uh, but besides that, I, I don't know if he'll do any Dark Fate stuff. Maybe he'll do the T, the Rev 9, maybe Arnold again. Maybe, but yeah, I don't see that. So yeah, thank you guys. Would you buy Hot Toys Grandmaster from Thor Ragnarok for the minute? Maybe. I'm going to get, I still need to get that Korg and Grandmaster Marvel Legends pack. So yeah. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining. You know, I hope you enjoyed my unboxings of all these awesome figures. I'm still going to collect. I still love toys. It just sucks that I won't be able to make any toy content on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I don't know if I'll make a video before Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll make it about the feature of my channel. Kind of like what I talked about in this live show, just... It'll be a much shorter video. <laughs> um, but you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a happy holidays. If I you don't see me do a video before then. Because even if I did uh, some more toy reviews, it's kind of why, why bother at this point. It's just sad. It, unless I make it for Patreon. But yeah. I'm sorry, you guys. <sighs> we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated, but I just can't risk it anymore. I'm going to miss... Miss doing toy reviews for you guys. But yeah. Anyway, you guys, um, if, uh, like my Facebook, follow me, Twitter, Instagram, check out my website, SeanLakesLong.com. Can have like at least my videos up on there too, maybe. We'll see. Because even with Google, that's Google AdSense, they get paid, so I don't even know. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, you guys, um, thank you so much for watching and, um, Sean, uh, support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Sean X Long. And I'm Sean Long saying live long and love life.